this video, we'll explore how to format and design a dashboard using worksheets we've already created. First, let's create a new dashboard by clicking the New Dashboard tab. When creating dashboards, it's important to first set the size of the canvas to match our intended embed location. In order to adjust the dimensions, we can pick a preset format from the drop-down menu in the lower left-hand corner, or select a custom size. Next, we'll want to bring out our worksheets keeping in mind that some chart types work better placed in vertical or horizontal orientations. In this case, we have a map showing the number of medals each country has won. This is a higher level overview of our information, so we'll want to place it at the top of our dashboard. Next, we have a histogram that shows the number of medals won by athletes of various ages. Let's place this to the side of our map. Finally, we have a tree map that shows the athletic events where medals were won. Let's place this at the very bottom of our dashboard. Now that we have all of our sheets placed on the dashboard, we can resize them by selecting a sheet and adjusting its border. As you can see, our map resized to make better use of the available space. We can also adjust the tree map sizing by selecting the drop-down caret and adjusting the fit. Legends can be rearranged simply by dragging and dropping and we can choose to float them over other worksheets by selecting floating from the drop-down caret or selecting the floating box in the lower left-hand corner. We can also resize the legends by extending their borders. If we want to align our content, we can choose the exact location by adjusting the size and position coordinates, also in the lower left-hand corner. Once we have our dashboard elements placed, resized, and aligned, we can move on to additional formatting options. Let's begin with tooltips. These are a small window that opens when a user mouses over a mark. Tooltips are generated automatically, but can be edited or formatted to contain new information altogether. To edit a tooltip, first select the worksheet whose tooltip you wish to edit. Then, select Worksheet from the menu and choose Tooltip. An editable text window appears where you can type in new information. Change the font type, size, style, color, or alignment. Or, by selecting the Insert button, you can add mark-specific information that will appear at each point. In this case, let's show the type of Olympics these medals were won at. We can click the Preview button to see what the final tooltip will look like. We can also adjust the titles for each worksheet by right-clicking and selecting Edit Title. This allows us to format the content or add dynamic text, just like in a tooltip. In addition, we can change the formatting of the entire title box, including the shading and border. Formatting an axis is as easy as right-clicking, selecting Format, and adjusting the font style, adding shading, changing the color of the tick marks, adjusting the number formatting, or the tick label alignment. By selecting the paint bucket, we can shade the entire workbook, or add row or column banding to our dimension, adjusting the size of the bands using the slider. Clicking the paintbrush allows us to add grid lines. If we only want to adjust the horizontal or vertical lines, we can choose the appropriate tab. Grid lines are helpful in providing context for our measures. Choosing the Dashboard menu and selecting Format allows us to modify the underlying dashboard, shading the entire background, or adjusting the formatting for all dashboard text. These are just a few of the formatting options available on dashboards and worksheets. Explore the menus and experiment for yourself.